Your story, jailed for nine months for something that you did not do. Uh, the sum involved in your case uh, was £59,000. I mean, just tell us your experience. It must be awful what you've been through over this last few years. Yeah, um, yeah I mean, man's been ongoing since 2006. Um, I mean, some people have been going through this for decades. Um, it's just been a fight from day one nobody ever believes you because you're going up against um quite a big institution and um, so it's just fighting for yourself really i mean you actually went to prison didn't you what was that experience like um i did yeah um i was sentenced on the 2nd of february in 2007 and i was released on in april 2007 um it was a, a, it for me it was an horrendous time it's going to jail when you know you've done nothing wrong um people proclaim they're already innocent everybody's innocent that was in jail but when you know that you actually are i think that makes it harder um separated from my kids i refused to see them didn't want them coming to jail um didn't want them to have that memory of me being in this so yeah it was difficult and um, what do you want to happen now? I mean, you don't, you won't get those months of your life back that you spent in prison. Um, you know, you will have had a period of damaged reputation, which hopefully uh, has recovered now. But what does justice look like, for, not just for you, but for all of the others that have been impacted by this? The just, justice is having um, somebody made accountable for what went wrong. Everybody, the, everybody knows that it, this goes higher. I mean, there was quite a lot of people involved. They had um, parliament members on the board, and um, there was a lot. Um, and we just want justice. Um, people think this is all about money, but it's not about money at all. It's about the, the people at the top being treated exactly the same and thinking that they're above the law and they can break the law and just walk away with a healthy paycheck from it, um, where we've had to fight and fight to prove our innocence and end up going to jail and ending up with nothing. So, I mean, you mentioned people at the top. Uh, Paula Venels, who was, the, uh, who was the boss of the post office then, she was actually given a CBE in 2019 for services to post office and charity. I mean, that must have felt like a bit of a slap in the face for you. Yeah, it is. And I've recently read today as well that um, the CBE won't be removed unless she's charged with an offence. I mean, who does that? Who gets the CBE for ru ruining so many people's lives? It's just, that's what I mean. The people at the top are always protected and they're protected because they've got the money to protect themselves, where people like me didn't. And you say, uh, just finally, Janet, you say that you want some accountability for the people at the top uh, to be held kind of responsible for what they did. What is your faith like at the moment? Do you think that's going to happen? No, no. I'd like to believe that it's going to happen, but do I believe it will? Um, no, I don't. I mean, maybe I might get further down the line and think that it's actually going to change, but honestly, the way that we've been dealt through the justice system anyway, I don't have any faith in any of it. I mean, I look, you've only it. got to look at the Hillsborough inquiry and you've also got to look at the Grenville inquiry, who's been charged, who's gone to jail, nobody. Yeah, I've got to say, I can. I think some of your, um, your, your lack of kind of belief that it's going to happen in terms of the justice, I think it's understandable given your experience. Uh, Janet Skinner, I do hope that you get the justice that you are indeed uh, seeking.